Worry is a big element of anxiety and in this video I'm going to tell you why you worry and also why worrying is not at all useful. So stay tuned, I, I hope it will be very informative for you. Okay, when you worry you're asking your brain to answer a question or solve a problem. So like what if that happens? What if the plane crashes? What if I have a car crash? What if the relationship breaks down? What if they criticize me? What if it goes wrong, right? What if? Now, if you think about it, what if that happens? Well, when will I find out if it happens? In the past, the present or the future? I'll find out in the future. So what if that happens in the future? What if the plane crashes in the future? What if the car crashes in the future? What if I get sacked in the future? What if they find out in the future? What if when I go to the office, they criticize me? These are all future-based things. But when you ask your brain to solve a problem or answer a question, you're asking it in the present moment to solve a problem or a question, but the answer is in the future. Therefore, it doesn't have enough information to actually answer the question or solve the problem. That's why your brain keeps going round and round in circles on the same thing, because it doesn't know that it doesn't have enough information, because you're telling your brain this is really important. What if the plane crashes? This is really important. But your brain can't give you the answer because the answer is in the future. And that is fundamentally why worry is a pointless activity because you're worrying about something in the present that hasn't happened and your brain can't solve it for you because it doesn't have the answer because the answer is in the future. So in a nutshell, that's what worry is. It's asking your brain to predict the future. Now, if you could predict the future, I would suggest you do the National Lottery because that'll give you, you know, at least it will release you from having financial burdens. But you can't predict the future. Your brain can't predict the future. But if you're not careful, you start to think that worrying is useful, that worrying is somehow a productive activity, that worrying somehow prevents things from happening. You fall into the trap that thinking worry might be of value to you. And then you get locked in this circle of, of trying to predict the future when you can't and, and thinking that just do it, trying to do that, trying to do that worry thing has some productivity attached to it and it doesn't. So if you want to stop being anxious, you have to stop worrying. Now, interestingly, I've given you in a sense, the first step, stop trying to answer questions that don't have answers because the answer is in the future. And if you just remember that, it will give you a huge boost in stopping worrying because now you will realize that actually it's a pointless activity not worth your time. I hope you find this interesting and useful. If you have, please subscribe.